So there are a billion people around the world who use spreadsheets in their daily work. If you do any kind of knowledge work, so work that requires you to handle information or data, the chances are you'll probably need to use spreadsheets in some way. The thing about spreadsheets is that they're really flexible, all-purpose tools that can be used for lots of different things. But therein lies the problem. When you're a big company that wants to do financial planning, reporting or analysis, spreadsheets are missing a lot of the long tail specific functionality that's really essential for the job. So Mosaic has raised $72 million to build a better solution than a spreadsheet targeting specifically finance teams at large companies. Now, they're not the only company in this space. There are about a hundred other companies all trying to do the same thing. But I've worked in the financial planning space for a few years. And so in today's video, I'm going to explain and show what makes Mosaic different. Before I jump into those, let me take a quick step back and explain exactly what problem Mosaic's trying to solve. So imagine you're the CFO of a small company. You've got a bunch of different customers, a few different product lines, and maybe some employees as well. In order to run your business, you'll probably need a forecast for the number of things that you expect to sell, what your expenses might be, and how much money you're going to make. As each month goes by, you will need to compare your forecast against your actual results and see how far off you were against your original plan. If things went better than expected, you might decide to order more stock or hire more people. If things went worse than expected, maybe you'll cut some of your expenses back and order less stock. When you're a small company, it's easy to keep track of all this information in a simple spreadsheet like Excel or Google Sheets, right? But as your company gets bigger and it gets more complex, those spreadsheets really start to break. For example, updating your forecast with actual results becomes really manual and time consuming and prone to human error. It gets harder to keep track of different versions of your spreadsheets. Even simple financial analysis takes days or even weeks so that executives don't get the insights that they need in order to run and grow the business. So what started out as a single spreadsheet turns into this big complex model, financial model, that only one person understands in the whole company and everybody's afraid of touching because they think they might break it. So those are some of the problems that tools like Mosaic are trying to solve. And like I said earlier, there's no shortage of solutions out there. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to focus on the five features that make Mosaic different. Let's start with how you build revenue forecasts in Mosaic. So first of all, instead of putting data into cells like you do in a spreadsheet, in Mosaic you create metrics that can then referenced and reused in other parts of your model. For example, if you're a subscription business, you might have two metrics called revenue and billings. Maybe you bill a certain month, but it takes you three months to recognize that as revenue. So in Mosaic, you can write a simple formula that offsets your billing metric by three months in order to calculate your revenue. If you then want to segment your revenue across any kind of dimension, you don't need to write complex formulas with view lookups and index matching. You simply pull in your revenue metric and then you segment it for example, by cohort or deal size. This is the type of work that would take hours, if not days in a spreadsheet. And Mosaic comes right out of the box with 150 different metrics and allows you to create your own ones as well using their metric builder in a couple of clicks. Number two, headcount planning. For most companies, headcount is the biggest expense, so mistakes can be costly. Overhiring might mean that you run out of cash sooner than you intended. Underhiring might mean that you lose out revenue to your competitors. When headcount data lives across a bunch of different systems that are not directly connected to your revenue and PL, it can be number one, hard to understand your cost structure, and number two, make holistic decisions about the resources that you'll need in order to support your growth goals. So in the first instance, Mosaic can connects directly into your HR and payroll system and pulls in all of the data around your employees and salaries on a monthly basis. You can then reference that headcount data anywhere in your financial model. For example, if you want to work out things like revenue per employee or forecast how many salespeople you need to hire in order to hit your growth targets. What's quite impressive though, is that as new data comes in into your HR system, so for example, you actually make the hires that you'd forecasted, Mosaic allows you to bring in that data and reconcile it directly against your forecasts. Or if a hire isn't made in a given month as you'd expected, you can postpone it to another month, updating all the rest of your forecasts. And if some people have left the company, you can choose whether you want to backfill that employee or simply update your headcount plan to say that this employee is no longer in that company, in that department. This saves you tons of time because you don't have to manually reconcile your employees one by one. 
and it means you're more accurate as well because you're not double counting some of the employees. And I know that most financial planning tools don't allow you to do that. You have to manually go through each employee one by one, update your TBH forecast, and then push that into your system. Whereas in Mosaic, you simply match all of your hires against your forecasts. Number three, vendor level forecasting. After headcount, vendors are the biggest expense for most businesses, but it's surprisingly hard to report on these in most tools. First, you have to make sure that all of your vendors are grouped into the right accounts and departments in your PL. Then you have to make sure that when you add new vendors, they sync up correctly into all of your accounts. Whereas in Mosaic, as soon as you've connected your accounting system or ERP, all of the mapping of vendors to accounts takes place automatically. You can then set custom segmentation. Maybe you want to keep track of your most expensive vendors so that they each have their own line item, whereas vendors below a certain dollar amount can be grouped together. In Mosaic, you set the logic once and then when new data comes in, everything syncs automatically. Having your vendors in Mosaic like this then allows you to create different dashboards for different departments where team leads can see aggregated views of their expenses as well as drill right down to the vendor level if they want to. Number four, financial consolidation. As your business grows, it normally becomes more complex. You might start adding new entities that report all in their own currency and you also need to start thinking about eliminating transactions between different entities in order to produce consolidated reports. This is the more kind of enterprise level functionality that most of the third gen FPNA tools don't really allow you to do. So most folks have to do this stuff manually offline in Excel or Google Sheets. Mosaic on the other hand allows you to consolidate automatically so you can put your month end process on autopilot. Once you've connected your ERP, Mosaic will automatically run your foreign currency calculations so you can see rolled up business metrics in whatever currency you want. Then you can set up intercompany accounts which allows you to track and eliminate transactions between subsidiaries. Once this is set up and you want to run an elimination entry, you can do that with a simple click of a button. Mosaic automatically proposes the entry based on the intercompany account that you've selected and any differences that arise as a result of currency fluctuations are added to the cumulative transaction adjustment so you can keep track of what impact these are having on your business. Once that's done, the intercompany revenue is down to zero and you can view your reports on either a subsidiary or consolidated view in a single click. Number five, AI. One of the great things about having all of the data in Mosaic is that then you can layer on AI in order to find insights and analyze your data. And Mosaic was actually one of the first platforms to deliver AI capabilities back in 2023. Mosaic's flagship product, Mosaic Arc, allows you to spot and summarize performance trends and your budget versus actual variances. It can also summarize the charts and tables to give you board-ready narratives that you can share with executives and the broader business. There's no need to write complex SQL queries, all you have to do is ask. I think the fact that Mosaic was one of the first to bring genuine AI capabilities into their product shows you something about how forward-looking their product team is. You know, always trying to stay at the bleeding edge of technological innovation. And I also know that they have a ton of really cool stuff in the pipeline as well when it comes to AI. So that's it on Mosaic. See you in the next video.